Oh, what are you doing? Man. Oh, that was fast. Speedy, huh? All right. Chill. Look at this. Well, everybody, it's safe to say I struck out on Eric Emanuel again this week. Today, I also had New Era. I had that website to deal with after Eric Emanuel's site uh, didn't go through. Nothing happened. Wasn't great. But uh, anyways, um, I got to get to delivering the rest of mail and whatnot, you know. Hey, what's up everybody? Yes, I am a mailman. It's kind of how I afford this stuff, you know, saving money here and there. I trade up, trade around. I've been going after Eric Emanuel Shorts for the past four drops. Nothing has worked. I'm clicking as quickly as I can. Autofill is turned on, but I'm up here in Montana and this state just doesn't have great service, great internet, it's just not available really. And uh, so anyways, one of my Twitter friends hooked me up with these Eric Emanuel Shorts. These are so cool. These are a size medium, anybody wanting to know. I mean, the Eric Emanuel shorts, they're not super long shorts, but that is really not in right now. I've never really been into long shorts. I've always tried to get shorts that go, you know, right above the knee. So I'm glad to be able to pick these up from a friend who's maybe gonna hook me up with some more stuff in the future, it seems like, so that is cool. These Eric Emanuel shorts came in this plastic Ziploc bag. Um, my friend was able to hook me up with this as well. They didn't throw it out. And then one of my other Twitter friends hooked me up with this hat I can wear for the post office. It's basically the hats that the post office uses. It'll go really well with my uh, apparel. Maybe not as reflective as the Supreme hat we're about to open, but uh, it is nylon, so it's gonna be really good for delivering mail. So let's go ahead, without further ado, make sure you subscribe to this channel, right? Once I hit 3,000 subs, I'm gonna be giving away a bunch of stickers. So subscribe now, enter that raffle right now, because once it reaches 3,000 subs, that's when the sticker pack is given away and pretty much nobody has entered so if you do enter you're just gonna win like that's just how it's gonna be because you entered and nobody else did so <laughs> there you go i've been telling people to enter but i don't make it very easy and i don't really want it to be easy because i want the winners to actually care about this channel and not just be somebody random online who enters a million raffles you know through all these raffle sites and then gets random stuff sent to them that they don't even know they don't really remember or signing up for or whatever now nah, i'm not into that so you're gonna have to send me a dm on instagram with your shipping address it's the only way you're gonna be able to uh enter that raffle so this is uh the supreme reflective hat from the spring summer 2020 collection and yeah, hey, happy Juneteenth to everybody out there. Today is Juneteenth, the day we can celebrate that this country decided to let everybody live free. And I'm so glad that that happened. Obviously, it's a long journey to really pull it out of the mind of the human race because slavery has been big forever. Anyways, let's uh, let's just open up this hat. I really want to break into it. We got some Supreme stickers. A lot of people were getting Oreos. I did not get Oreos, so I guess we'll just have to deal with that. But uh, I did get a couple of box logos. And then this hat is almost similar to the Kith hat. This one is a lot more gray than the Supreme one, obviously. Here is the little sticker tag on there. Anybody who wants to see it? Some of you love sticker tags. Look at that. Oh, pretty. Oh, it's upside down. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> and then they just played around with this one, somehow got it in a knot. 
don't know why they did that. That's so weird. Totally. Got the supreme store just knotting all those up. Oh yeah, this hat is nice and thin. It's got that subtle box logo. Man, such a cool box logo. Like you can't even tell. Can't hardly even see it. The whole entire thing, even this underside, is all sparkly and reflective. If you look closely at it, you can see that 3M sparkliness that it gives off. I don't know if it's actually 3M branded or not, but let's go ahead and look at the tags. This one is made in the United States. After this whole COVID thing, we all realized we really need stuff to be made close to home. Because then you don't have to have it all shipped around and then worried about it not getting to its destination and all that craziness. Yeah, we have focused way too much on trying to save a penny that um, we've kind of given up on uh, sustainability. We're just about saving money now. One cool thing about streetwear is that this stuff is more sustainable because people can trade it around, they can wear it till it really wears out and it does have a lot of value to it. I mean, essentially, this all this is art. That's the only reason why it's holding so much value is because people consider the creators of these pieces artists and so do I, personally. I do create some of my own pieces as well, but you know, I'm working like 60 hours a week, so I put as much of it into it as I can. But let's go ahead, I'll throw this hat on for you. Probably ruin my hair, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just messing. But yeah, so it fits really nice, just seriously a perfect fit. I could not ask for a more perfect fit from a Supreme hat. I'm telling you, I have a lot of Supreme hats. Some of them go a little bit too far down so they kind of press on your ears. Others are a little bit too high up so they feel like, you know, they might fall off a little bit too easy. And this one just sits perfectly on my head. I don't have any clue what size of hat that I normally wear, but it's not that large of a hat because normally I go for small, medium, and even then sometimes it is too big. Uh, but then other times, it's, yeah, it just depends on the brand. And then here's this kith one, since I'm already throwing on hats. This one needs to be tightened a little bit. This one fits basically the same. I don't know why I bought this hat from my buddy on Twitter when I had this one already on the way. Basically, I think I forgot this one was coming and I saw him selling this one and I just was like, Hey, Eli, give that to me. I'll take it. <laughs> but it's all good. I might just maybe put this one on ice then for a while and uh, see what happens to it. I'm sure a lot of people are going to think that it's, you know, pretty dope because it does have that full reflective. And then, yeah, it's just, it's a cool hat. It really is. And I don't know if I really want to get it super dirty and messed up and everything because it just has some, some vibes to it, if you know what I mean. Now let's get to the item that everybody cares about. This is actually called a Tritex. The tri bird in here um, was called Tritex for some reason. I don't know, maybe somebody can tell me what exactly that means, but I'm sure it just has something to do with the design. They did give one white tri sticker. So that's cool, it's like transparent, you can see it. It's a pretty cool sticker. And then I got some shipping information, a receipt, whatnot. And that is it inside this bag. Here is our little sticker. They got their sticker tags too, right? <laughs> I think almost every brand does that though. A lot of brands are doing that. But anyways, we've got our Palace branded Ziploc bag with that Triferg again on there. Our warning information. This thing feels really thick. Right off the bat, I think they should probably put it in a bigger Ziploc bag, but yeah, they folded it up real nice in here. I was really amazed I was able to even grab this hoodie because most of the stuff from Palace I just can't get because I just can't scroll fast enough down because I don't use bots. I always tell people, let's not use bots. Let's all be fair. Let's all just try our hardest. We get it. Some people don't. Some people do. Why do we need one person getting 600 of something and then sort of choosing a new resale value of it that most people don't really maybe agree with. I mean, I'm just saying, I'd like resale to not be there. I'd like to just be able to trade stuff, but I don't know. Here we go. Here's the Tritex hoodie. It is, I think, pretty cool. I definitely like it. We've got a couple of different color combinations here with the black and orange, the blue and black, and then the pink and white. One other note on here that maybe some people don't know, if you look close, you can see on the print, inside some of those lines. It just says palace, 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 palace. And then we got our little one on the front there for everybody to see. This will be a nice cozy hoodie I can just wear every so often. Maybe I won't wear it because it's pretty warm outside, but you know, here and again, I'll go ahead and throw it on for you guys. And, well, actually, before I do that, let me show you guys the tags. Here we go. There we go. There's the back of it for you. And then the back of the neck tag. Another palace triangle, tri or whatever. Oh yeah, oh man. 
this hoodie already looks good with what I'm wearing, so we're all good to go. We'll just rock it like this, right? I'm ready for the evening. I'll stay up all night because I'll be cozy in this wonderful, wonderful sweater. <laughs> but yeah, what do you guys think? You guys like this? It fits really great. It's a size large, and I am six foot one. 140 pounds. I would say it's not oversized at all. If anything, it's undersized because I'm stretching my arms out and it's almost not long enough for me even. So <laughs> it's got some width to it, so that's nice, you know, if you if you need that. But then for sleeve length, if you got really long arms like I do, I mean come on, my last name is long, then this hoodie is gonna be maybe a little annoying. I don't know. Maybe y'all learn to love it and it'll be fine. I mean it does feel really cozy and comfy just like a hoodie should, but anyways, I am gonna shoot some positivity at you guys from uh, my phone. I've been reading a lot of books. I don't really read a lot of the Bible anymore, but this is the Jesus Taco channel, so I like to talk about Jesus and how he treats people and how he lived and Jesus was very outspoken. He was super loud and he told things like it was. He was only able to preach for three years and then basically the church of the time or the people who worshiped God got together with the government and had him killed because of these messages that he was teaching. I feel like I'm getting choked right now. What's going on? Anyways, I'm gonna read for you guys John chapter 1 verses 11 through 13. Jesus came to his own people and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed his name, he gave the right to become children of God. We were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. What is this paper? Okay. Anyways, so with this verse, we're learning something really cool that we have to be reborn. A lot of people hear born again and it just becomes like a cliche or maybe you think it sounds dumb or whatever. I follow the theology that when Jesus said that we must become new, that we have to evolve our brain. We have to rewire our thinking so that we are concerned about marginalized people, beggars on the streets, kids who look like maybe they're not being taken care of. These are the things that concern Jesus that people looked away from. Everybody was so concerned with the bottom line, just making the most of their life, being as productive as they could, being as awesome as they possibly could, just charging after this thing. They really put other people and their needs way to the side. And so now we're just stomping on people's heads to climb up top. I mean, we have how many billionaires in the world right now even and how many people in poverty. I think if you do have a great amount of resources, then you should use that to help fund another person. And there's so many different ways we can do this. We can donate to different organizations out there. We can go out and just go help those people, maybe bring somebody a lunch or talk to one of your friends that seems like maybe they're not doing well mentally. There's so many people right now who are majorly struggling. I, right now, currently am majorly struggling. I am having so much torment. I am having mild depression and mild anxiety. Nothing that's making me have to take off time from work really. I mean, at least not call out sick anyways. I mean, I'm still taking some days off now because I really need it. But I've been trying to really call out people who are being racist or people who are misinformed or who are believing a rhetoric that is very destructive. I'm trying to call those people out and it really, you know, you, you come against a wall. You find that these people are so concrete in their belief. There's just a wall there. And the only way that they can ever change is by evolving their brain, by choosing to let these things into their brain to rewire. And until that happens, maybe some trauma would, would push that to happen and we're seeing that happen a little bit here and there with some stories with people who have decided to change their thinking which is very positive we want more people who are just overly accepting because honestly until black lives matter all lives matter is a false statement i mean that's just how it is we need every single person to be on our mind to be a concern for us and i truly believe if we can come together and do that and build a society where our peacekeepers are well trained to deal with trauma or to deal with escalated situations well trained like hours and hours of training so they understand the best options for dealing with trauma and that's maybe the only thing they deal with is just when people are having a very bad argument or something and then somebody comes in who's a peacekeeper i don't know what they'll be called in the future maybe we'll keep the same name depending on where you live who knows but i do know that we can take this moment in history and really capitalize it and learn from it. So let's do our part 
as people. Let's try and cheer people up around us. It is time to call out those people who are, are living a bad lifestyle or who are being hateful. Definitely is a perfect time to call those people out and let them know. But then we have to come back at them, offer to take them to dinner, offer to meet with them at coffee, whatever, whatever would be cool play fall, frisbee golf with them. I mean, whatever it is. If you're going to correct, then you've got to be along for the whole process. So uh, yeah, it's a journey, but it's worth it. And uh, yeah, we can, we can make this world bright. So yeah, this is a long one. <laughs> Let's go.